Is the Biden administration trying to circumvent federal law and create a national gun registry? On July the 15th, 2022, Ammo Land News published an article titled, Department of Commerce Census Bureau Requesting Sales Records from Gun Holster Companies. So is that for real or is this some hype to get gun owners stirred up? Well, in order to cut through the BS, I did a little research for myself. In today's video, I'll tell you what I found out, why, if it is real, it is a big deal, and how my favorite holster company, Hog Holsters, is responding. That's what's coming up next here on Survival on Purpose. Welcome back to Survival on Purpose, your home for trustworthy information and gear reviews related to camping, survival, and general preparedness for regular folks. My name is Brian. Thanks for joining me. And if you've been here for very long, you know that I think one of the big components of general preparedness is firearms ownership. So, um, as I said, there's been some stuff on the internet that the federal government is asking holster manufacturers to send in customer data, basically. And, and maybe, and a lot of people are saying that might be a backdoor attempt to create some sort of a registry. So first, uh, let me remind you that the 1986 Firearm Owners Protection Act specifically prohibits using information collected on firearms under the act in any registration system. By the way, that is, the Hughes Amendment to that act is why private citizens like you and me uh, cannot buy new machine guns, but the government can. That's a whole other video there. Also, federal law prohibits the use of the National Instant Criminal Background Check System, the NICS, to create any system of registration of firearms or firearms owners. So bottom line, it is illegal for the federal, federal government to create a database of guns and gun owners except for NFA items like silencers, machine guns, and a few other type firearms. And yes, uh, fire, silencers are considered firearms by the federal government. So any attempt to get around this restriction by forcing firearms and related companies to provide information would be illegal. Like that has ever stopped them before. So anyway, I've got my notes here to make sure I get this right. So anyway, here I did some research. The article on Ammo Land News said that several holster manufacturers had received notices to correspond to a commodity flow survey. This is a survey sent to random companies every year asking for details about their business, including order numbers, product descriptions, and where the items were shipped. The implication in the story is that by knowing what type holsters were shipped to who, that information can be included in a database to know who had what guns. But is that really what's going on here? So I jumped on the old Commerce Department website to see if I could unravel the truth. Here's what I found out. I found out that it might not be that big a deal. Might not be. The sample form online is a little grazed about how specific the information needs to be as far as item descriptions and who it was shipped to. Um, it, it looks like maybe even just the zip code would be close enough. So I don't, I don't know that they're really asking for specific individual customer data. But I don't know that they're not. I have no way of knowing if the folks at the Commerce Department might ask for specific data or not. This is just a sample form on there. It is very clear on there that the, the businesses are legally required to respond. The Ammo Land article says the website claims there's a $5,000 fine for non-compliance, which is actually supposed to be $500. I couldn't find any info about the fine on the website. I'm sure there is one because it's the government, right? So bottom line, airplanes. Is this really an attempt by folks in the government to start creating a backdoor gun registry? I really don't think so, but that doesn't mean I'm, I'm not opposed to, to this effort by the government anyway. Uh, I think honestly, it's, it's probably just random routine stuff, but it happened to hit gun owner, gun holster people, and they rightfully so kind of laid a little protest up. So as I said at the beginning of the video, I'm a so as I said, I'm opposed to it. And as I said at the beginning of the video, so is my friend John Abbott at Hog Holsters. And he asked me to tell you specifically that Hog Holsters will never under any circumstance, share its customer information with anybody, including and especially government bureaucrats. And just for kicks, he decided to offer a special discount code that is good through Halloween 2022. You can save 11% on any hog holster order over 30 bucks by using the coupon code MYOB, which stands for Mind Your Own Business. It's coupon code MYOB at checkout, save you 11%. Uh, which is 1% more than the traditional survival on purpose coupon code. And if you're not, not familiar with hog holsters, let me just give you a quick glimpse of mine. This is my hog holsters. This holster with the ulti clip on it has been through 
This one, specific one, has been through at least two fighting pistol classes, maybe three. Um, I've been through several other other classes. Rolling, I think this one was at Thunder Ranch with me. Um, it's been through several classes, rolling around in the dirt. Now, I had a single issue with retention of the firearm in the holster or retention of the holster to my breeches. So. Hog holster is a holster I've been wearing every single day, the concealed carry holster, for several years now, and I highly, highly recommend it. John is uh, a friend of mine, and to be clear, he's also a channel sponsor, so um, it's just it's just a great, great holster. So, And again, you can save 11% by using the coupon code MYOB, stands for Mind Your Own Business, <laughs> at hogholsters.com. So um, that being said, again, I am absolutely not not in favor i am not in agreement with the federal government getting any of that information related to guns i know this may have been just a routine a routine thing that happened to, to hit some holster companies but uh, when it starts talking about firearms companies firearms companies then it, it really hits too close to the home and i think there's too many regulations uh, restricting that so um my hat's off to hog holsters and the other holster companies which have said no we're not going to comply with this so um, i encourage you to support hog holsters because they are a really good american company 100 percent usa made including down to the screws every hog holster including down to the screws in the holster even including a little allen wrench that he he sends with every holster to adjust the clip if you need to um, that is 100% uh, made in the USA. So uh, John's a Marine Corps, a United States Marine veteran from, from Desert Storm. And um, he's just a really great guy as well. And, he's, and I'm proud to call him a really good friend. So anyway, I'll shut up now. I just want to kind of hopefully this gets cleared up any misconceptions. Uh, got to the bottom of this as best as I could with my research abilities. So I really appreciate you watching Survival on Purpose. Remember, survival is not an accident. So be prepared and don't talk to the government. I'll see you next time.